How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Amazon Fire 5th Gen 7 inch tablet and as you can see I've got ads here on this thing and I'm going to go to show you guys how to root it and we're going to be doing it here on my Mac machine since some of you have been asking about it. Um, sorry about my voice but I'm not feeling good but uh, we're going to go ahead and do this anyway. So as you can see right here I did just update to Fire OS 5.1.2 and this super tool that I'm going to show you on Mac here does work on this Fire OS version. So no issues there whatsoever. It'll be fine and work 100% for you. So the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and plug it into your Mac with a USB cord. So I'm going to do that right here. There we go. Let's plug it in. And the next thing that's really good to do is to turn on developer options. So to do that, go into settings. Go to device options, tap on your serial number until you see developer options at the bottom here. Go ahead and tap on that and then um, right here, uh, enable ADB debugging, hit enable and boom, you should be good. You should be able to now communicate with your Fire tablet over ADB and use this super tool that I'm going to show you how to use now. So let's go over to my computer and just show you the files and everything we're going to need to download. All right, guys, here we are right here. So this is my site, rootjunkiesdl.com, or sdl.com. And you're just going to go to Fire 5th Gen. Uh, this is for the 7-inch specifically. It may work on other devices, though, now at this point because it's not as specific. But anyway, that is what it is. Try it at your own risk. Click on Super Tool. And you should have this one right down here. You want to download the one with the, most of the downloads. Um, the MD5 file is not going to match on it, but go ahead and download it, the one without the dashes. So we'll click on that, and it'll go over here, and it'll download. Okay? No big deal. Be very simple to get it downloaded. All right. So we want to get root access. We want to do all these cool things on this device. So now that we get it downloaded, see it should be downloading in the corner down here. It takes a little bit to do it. That's why it says, please wait. It should start automatically. We'll let that download and we'll come back to it. But I've already got it downloaded technically anyway. So we're just going to come over here. And you can see here is the file that you download. And once you extract it, you open it up and extract it. And I'll extract it again. See, so it gets you that folder right there. So I'm going to open up my folder. And here's everything you got in the folder. Now, what we're really going to do is we're going to run this right here. For Mac and Linux, it's the script that does everything. But to do it, we're going to need to do it in terminal. So the best thing to do on your keyboard on your MacBook is hold Command and the space bar. And that opens up Spotlight here. And then we can search Terminal because we need to open a terminal. And there it is. So we're going to go ahead and uh, open that up. And now we have Terminal open. All right, so the easiest thing from Terminal that I found is to go ahead and um, do a CD and we got to change directories CD space and then grab the file I'll show it to you this file right here see it just grab that whole folder and drag it into the terminal and that will change directory to that terminal to that to that file location and then hit enter so now we just change directory and we're in the correct directory to run the files okay so from here we're just gonna take this and you can almost drag it in too, but it's easier to do a rename. So do a rename and copy it. So I'll do um, Command C that does a copy. And then you come up here and you do period slash, and then paste it in Command V, and then you hit Enter. All right. So now you're running the Super Tool on Mac. So now what's really cool is when you run through the tool. You can just hit up arrow enter and it'll run the tool again and you can keep doing more and more options on your device. So the first thing we want to do, and probably well one of the coolest things I guess, let's go ahead and let's install the Google Play Store. And then I'll show you how to do root and some of these other options as well. So the first one is Google Play Store. So the way this works is you have to type it exactly like it's shown on the screen. So capital G, Google, and then play, lowercase, all one word, and then hit enter. And it tells you, again, to turn on developer options, all those standard cool things, and then push enter to continue. And ask for your password. So we're going to type in my password and hit enter. Now over here on the device, make sure that you allow. So go ahead and hit enter on that. 
and that'll allow ADB debugging. That's really, really important or else none of this stuff will work. So hit always allow and hit OK. So there you go. Everything looked like it worked. There was a problem with my PMs for some reason. I may have to look into that to see what's going on with that. But uh, the application should be installed. Hit enter. And you can see it return back to your terminal. But if you come over here on the device, you can see right now that you have the Google Play Store on your device. So that's really awesome. All right. So then again, up arrow, enter, and there you go. You have your options again, and that just ran the tool one more time. So this time we're going to do the root method. So we're going to type in uh, root, and again, it talks about developer options, yada, yada, yada. Um, just uh, pay attention to your device as you're doing this, and you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and hit enter. So the first thing that it's going to do is it turns an ADB and it gives you some more things about the script it tells you some steps it's going to do it's going to install king root but then it's going to replace king root with super sue so we don't like king root and it doesn't play well with flashify so this is how we're going to do it so go ahead hit enter and it's installing king root application now so let it let that sucker install and then now it tells you to do some things on the device and i'll just show them to you but you can read the script as well so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down, we're going to open King Root, and we're just going to swipe through all this stuff, and then we're going to try. Uh, make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on at this point. Um, it needs to connect and communicate with the network to just look at the device and see if there is a root method available. Um, there is. Now the problem what you're going to find is sometimes you have to reboot your device a couple times and try this a couple times you find before it will finally root the device. So it's a little bit hard to figure out, but... So it says root access is unavailable, but it says try to root anyway. So we're going to do that. So if this thing gets up to 22% or so, or a little farther, it means it's probably going to work. If not, it's probably going to reboot and you're going to have to try again. So it's a little bit complicated and it might take four or five, some people have set up to 10 times to really get root access on the device. And you can see right here, it's already rebooting, but it does function. Just don't give up, be patient keep trying if it stops working tells you it's failed do a reboot try again unplug it try it with it unplugged I mean there's a bunch of different ways but just leave the script up on the computer until you get this thing rooted here we go 18 21 so this is a good sign if you can get it to go to about 21 22 oh hit accept here this is also good that's also a good sign that's what it always did that when I was about to root for me so I did have to do a reboot um, just once and it looks like it's going to take so there we go we have root access with king root which is really awesome alright so this is a good sign a very very good sign so we're gonna go ahead and uh, well actually we can go into root access access here and it says ADB programs prompt if we do this it'll kinda save a step we can hit allow um, it'll pop up and ask you for it anyway but go ahead and plug in your uh, cable now so I got mine plugged in and we can go out of this. So now you have two applications there, but we're going to get rid of those right now. So we're plugged back in. We're back on our computer. And let's go ahead and finish the script. So we'll hit um, enter. And again, hit your password if it's been a while. And this should go ahead and do this if it'll work. Uh, interesting. Arrow device not found. You have this problem, I try uh, re just restarting the script. So let's go ahead and hit enter and enter. And then we'll do up arrow and enter. And we'll type in root again and hit enter. And we'll try it through this way and see if we can get this thing to communicate. So we're going to plug it in one more time and just make sure that we're plugged in good. We want to make sure that that's working well. Hit enter again. Again, it's going to install King Root, which is fine. Let it install again. It's not going to remove King Root's root access. So just let it do that if you have this problem like I just did. Um, guessing it just wasn't communicating when I tried to send that command. So hit enter again. Now we're back at that same screen. Hit enter. Yeah, this time it's working. So this is going to run a script that's actually going to remove King Root, as you just saw. And it should install SuperSue. And then it'll actually launch SuperSue. 
there you go and here you just it tells you on the screen here but just hit continue um, normal and it should finish updating the SU binaries alright there we go and then it says reboot or okay you can just hit okay no thanks and close out that and then go ahead and remove this application is purify and uninstall it and there you go and then at this point uh, a reboot would be probably a wise thing but you have full working root access right here uh, on the device so I do a reboot but that is it you have root access and now it looks like the program actually kind of froze up on me um, kind of weird don't know why but uh, if you have this problem I've tested it and it hasn't froze and I've tested it and it has froze so I'm not sure where the miscommunication is there it should exit the script but it's not doing that but anyway um, you can just close it at this point and then rerun the whole program again. Just close anyway. And just set it all up again. Run it. Run any more of the options that you want. But now you get the feel for how to root on the Mac. And also you can see how to get the Google Play Store installed. Um, I'm going to keep tweaking the script as I can and pushing out updates. Um, if you find a real big bug, let me know. I appreciate it. Um, but that's going to be it for me, guys. That's a quick video. First video here on the Mac. And I hope you have enjoyed it. Sorry again about my voice, but it just is what it is. And, uh, yeah, so stay tuned. I'll hopefully be doing more videos on the Mac. If you'd like to see something specific, please let me know in the comments down below. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.